the DA is controlling the GNU. They want to be in power. They want to be that main party in terms of uh, the GNU. They are in the news and it doesn't look good. The following are the letters that were written between the DA and the ANC. And it's quite fascinating. The letter of the DA is leaked. The ANC replies, but not directly to the DA. They don't even mention who is the culprit. Uh, they just mention in names, but are not being uh, forward in terms of who is the main culprit in terms of leaking these letters. Here's the first letter of the DA. I don't think we are going to go through all the letters one by one, but we can try and just go to the summary of uh, the letter. The letter was uh, written by the DA to Mr. Mbalula, uh, written by Helen Zille. And she uses a language which I'm concerned about it because Helen Zille is in charge. We understand that and we know that she's always wanted to be in charge. But it's like, take a break, Helen. We know that you are the mastermind in the DA. Now, she needs to relax. Dear Mr. Mbalula, thank you for your letter of yesterday, 22nd of June, 2024. I've been designated to respond on behalf of John. Not even John Steen Hazen. Um, so I want us, it's a long uh, letter, but I want us to focus on certain parts. And I think if you guys haven't seen it, uh, I can post it. And um, if you have seen it, that's fine. So at the bottom of the letter, Helen says, it is obvious that the distribution of positions in the cabinet can only start with a consideration of the relative electro electoral size of the parties participating in government. Governments, by definition, um, or maybe let, let me stop here. It is obvious that the distribution of position in the cabinet can only start with a consideration of the relative electoral size of the parties participating in government. So basically, um, she's just saying that it is important that when we allocate positions, we look at how parties performed in elections. The bigger the percentage, the bigger or the many, the many the, 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 the allocations of positions in terms of uh, ministries. If you have uh, the smallest percentage, you're probably going to get just two deputy, pres uh, deputy ministers or just one. That is what she's saying. What I, I, I feel like she, she's belittling the ANC of Figilem Balula is when she says uh, governments, by definition, are made up of parties participating in government. They are not made up of uh, parties in opposition. That is what parliament is for. This is the first time any difference on, of interpretation in this, in this regard has been expressed. It's more of her saying, like uh, the previous uh, interview she did, it's more of, of her saying that I understand that Fikile or the ANC don't have a clue of how this thing work or they don't have an understanding. So I'm trying to put it for you simply um, on how it is constituted. And I think it's a very big worry because they are in a G GNU and it seems like Helen knows that some people have a... Uh, uh, leadership skills that those are their certificates so she's using this to express herself knowing very well that they probably don't understand him going further on uh the letters there is an important part where the the da is mentioning the demands but i just want to go quickly on um the letters <clears throat> um and here she says um if you read uh, further on the letter the da the anc and the da as the largest, largest parties would then be required to sacrifice post proportionally to an inclus inclusivity pot. This covers the inclusivity in the national interest imperative in clause 16. They are the two parties when they have to really include the rest of the parties. They are the main parties that will have to, to give a share to lose some of uh, the post so that they can bring the rest of them, uh, Abu UDM. They have to be part of this. So um, going further, I think the most important in this part, I was just trying to go through it, but this is the most important. The DA has said that um, we know that ANC 
is the, the bigger party and they have a bigger percentage. But we are going to use that to our advantage because ANC cannot govern alone. The ANC doesn't have MK. They don't have the EFF. What we can do is to put them on the corner and tell them that if you don't do this, we are going. So these are the, the positions the DA is looking for. This was uh, leaked. Uh, the, the letter was leaked, but we all know that DA probably leaked it so that the media can be the one to know what is going on there by the negotiations. So firstly, um, sorry about that. Firstly, <clears throat> what the DA is uh, asking for is that in terms of uh, economic sectors, investment, employment, and infrastructure development, we are asking, if not forcing you, the ANC, to give us Ministry of Mineral Resources and Energy. That's number one. Ministry of Transport with Transnet reallocated to this portfolio. That's number two. Ministry of Trade, Industry and Competition. The third one. And under Social Protection, Community and Human Development, they want Ministry of Public Works and Infrastructure provided the infrastructure function now sitting in the president presidency is relocated to this portfolio. They also want the Ministry of Higher Education, Science and Innovation. Leighton Zimander's time is over now. In governance, state capacity and institution, institutional, institutional development, sorry, Ministry of Public Service and Administration, Ministry of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs. That's more like taking everything. Uh, Justice, Crime Prevention and Security, Ministry of Justice, and Ministry of Home Affairs. This, I'm wondering, where does uh, Patriotic Alliance come in the picture? Because they, they are looking for Home Affairs, but it looks like DA wants that too. And finally, International Cooperation and uh, Cooperation Trade and Security. They are looking for Ministry of Inter International Relations and Cooperation, and also Ministry of Communication and Digital Technology. It is... Um, 11 positions in total that the DA is requesting from the ANC. And now, what is interesting is what they write uh, at the end. They say that we have given you 11 positions, but we are not done. This is what we want to tell you also. We would seek to have deputy ministers in the same ministry as we have ministers. So they, they, they basically are requesting 11 pos ministers. On top of that, they are requesting 11 deputies with the exception of the finance ministry where we will, we will only be appointed to the post of deputy minister as set out earlier. And uh, the most interesting line, it is obviously impossible to effect positive change in government if the process of government and key personnel in government obstruct the DA at every turn. It is therefore also necessary that we agree on the following. That is uh, the next page. <clears throat> they say uh, that director generals in departments reporting to DA ministers are selected by panels consisting of DA ministers and submitted to the president for his approval and that such approval cannot reasonably be withheld. These people are, held, are holding ANC at ransom because they want each and every position and also to say that we want um, the DA to be able to, to be the one to interview or select these people. And the contracts of all current DGs would also need to be reconsidered in light of our concern that incumbents may not be amenable to direction from Democratic Alliance ministers especially given the ANC current deployment policy, uh, as they know that um, it might be difficult for DA to work with uh, the ANC. <clears throat> uh, it continues to say that, that all tenders in departments reporting to DA ministers issued since the promulgation of the election date be reviewed. It is obviously not possible to effect change in a context where recent decisions by the previous government are rendered irreversible. We are, we are going to, to, to be done soon, guys. Just bear with me. Um, the next paragraph that 
a technical clearing house is established consisting of a representative from each participating party with a mandate to resolve differences over policy and other decisions of government by consensus before they become a source of conflict in the cabinet. In the event consensus is impossible, sufficient consensus would be required as contemplated in the clause 19.3 of the statement of its intent. In the event that differences prove uh, particularly intractable, they would need to be resolved by the president and the leader of the DA. This approach would give proper effect to clause 19 of the statement of intent. Uh, now they are ending their letter. Interestingly, finally, please be advised that DA participation in governments in Gauteng and KZN depend on our participation in government at national level. So you refuse to give us um, national level. We are not going to go into any arrangement or coalition with you in Gauteng or KZN. That is the offer of the DA. And they continue to say that we would like to reiterate once again that we remain fully committed to participating in governments in which we will be able to effect positive change for the people of South Africa. Our country faces a unique opportunity now to implement programs that will boost job creation, alleviate poverty, provide security, education, healthcare, and social, social support our people so desperately need. We stand ready to deliver on this um, uh, imperatives with you and other signatories of the statement of intent. Helen Zille, chairperson of Federal Council. Uh, let me just drink water. So we have read what the DA is looking for and I'm sorry to say this but the DA is very arrogant. They are arrogant because they know that the ANC is, their back is up against the wall. They are arrogant in such a way that they find it acceptable to say, ANC, we've given you 11 uh, ministers. We also want deputies. And on top of that, we don't want the Minister of Finance, but we want to be the deputy in that Ministry of Finance. After saying that, it's like they're saying to ANC, take it or leave it, because they say, finally, be advised that DA participation in governments in Gauteng and KZN depend on our participation in government at national level. You don't give us um, what we need. We don't support you in KZN and Gauteng. That is really so low of the DA to be uh, pinning the ANC down like this. And people really have been advising ANC to be careful in terms of, are you sure that you want to do this? Are you sure that you want to work with the DA? And if ever they didn't believe those people, today is the day that they are supposed to believe them. We are going to go to the letter of uh, the ANC, which is in reply of uh, the DA's letter. The DA has um, the ANC by uh, their throat. And once uh, that letter was leaked, the ANC saw it fit to respond because you are being told and you are being exposed on the public that we want you to do this and this. So it was only fair for them to respond uh, on public also. So this was the response of uh, the ANC also. I'm not really going to read through all this because Figilem Balula sat down to give an update. but. <clears throat> Um, the first paragraph says uh, the African National Congress notes with concern that some parties have been making outlandish and outrageous demand for specific cabinet positions in the media. Firstly, it notes some parties. It's not some parties. It's the DA. Why are they afraid to mention that we have noted that the, the DA is requesting positions? When are they going to show leadership in terms of their relationship with the DA? The DA is behaving like the parent of the ANC. The ANC is coming to the game peacefully. How do you agree yourself to go and be peaceful when you know that the DA is not peaceful? That is where the DA is ahead in terms of this GNU. They don't 
filter anything when speaking to the media or, or speaking about the ANC. But the ANC is behaving like they are in government. You are not. You are dealing with someone who's on the loose. And if they don't stop the DA, they will be in trouble. They say negotiating through leaking demands to the media is an act of bad faith and this practice will not help the cause of any party. Again, the ANC seems like they are just sweetening this um, talk with the DA. Again, addressing the DA as if it is the parents, not addressing them directly, but going indirect. It's not going to help. The GNU cannot be held to ransom by a single party, the DA. The GNU cannot be held to a ransom by a single party. The people need a government to be established sooner rather than later. Okay, we hear that. But why are they taking so long for them to come up with um, their cabinet? If really the, the ANC is serious about governing. <clears throat> My apology, guys, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a long list. So they are mentioning the parties that are involved. The DA has 87. Uh, ANC has 159 uh, seats. Uh, the a a DA has 87. IFP has um, 17 PA9, FF6, UDM3, Rise Mzanzi 2, Al Jama 2, PAC1, and Good has 1. one those ones with uh, 1 seats are the ones that really are not going to add value. But uh, just to read a few uh, paragraphs, they say that the second phase of process to appoint the national executive, the cabinet in line with the constitution is underway. This will be based on the following principles. An inclusive approach taking in consideration electoral outcomes, the national interest as well as national groups, gender, social sectors, and related elements of uh, representativity. And of course, uh, and of course, experience and competency with regards to governance and speci specific portfolios. GNU cooperation includes both uh, parliament and the executive. The parties to the GNU may be considered for assignment of responsibilities in the legislature or, or cabinet. Consultation with leaders of parties includes in the, included in the GNU by the President of uh, the Republic is underway based on the constitutional. Uh, prerogative of the president and uh, at the bottom the president will announce cabinet in the coming days okay we are done dealing with those long letters uh, <clears throat> on the comments uh, Africa King Tito Mboweni Shasha okay uh, Africa King says being a slave in 2024 in South Africa is crazy ANC messed up um, I will read your comments as you write them guys so this is where we are the ANC had a choice to choose between DA, Freedom Front Plus, EFF, MK Party. The ANC knew for sure that if I choose MK Party, they would want Ramaphosa to go. If I choose the EFF, they would want the finance. And I think EFF did give it to the ANC to say that we no longer want the finance because we understand that um, you are not willing to let go but we are going to take some other portfolios and even have a deputy as a Ver 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 Veronica Mente. The ANC still rejected that because they saw that the DA is the answer to their problems. But guess what? The DA is not the answer to the ANC problems because if the DA was the answer, by now ANC Ramaphosa should be uh, addressing the people. He should have addressed them yesterday and said that this is these are the people that I'm appointing. The mere fact that they can't agree with each other. That is why you are seeing ANC unable to tell us who's going to be in which portfolio. And they are speaking about, let us, let us do it for the people of South Africa. But nobody cares about us because if the DA really cared about service, they wouldn't request 11 ministers. It's like they are taking everything and they are saying to the ANC, you have the president, let us take the rest of them. It's, it's really impossible what the DA is trying to do. They are trying to prove to the people that ANC is weak, ANC can't do anything. 
if I was the ANC, unfortunately I'm not, I would really go back to the drawing board and say that DA, if really you are, you are trying to force yourself on us and take um, everything that we have, including um, the ministries, we are going to go back and call the EFF and MK and this time sit down, sit down with MK and probably say that, MK, we are not willing to let go of Ramaphosa. We can negotiate any other thing, but bear with us. We are not willing to let go. Just maybe MK might come to the party, EFF might come to the party because what we would have got uh, from EFF and MK, it is not the bullying that ANC is receiving. People might think that it's only fair for DA to bully the, the ANC because ANC has been in power for 30 years. But we can already smell uh, that power hungry from the DA for them to even write such a letter and demands to the ANC. They are really in demand of power. And power, as, as soon as you get rank uh, on power, things are going to be a mess. Uh, on the comments, uh, Mavi says, here knew like a real marriage of convenience where you have to be submissive to, uh, to abusive and bullying wife, time will tell. Indeed, time will tell because uh, it looks like Helen Zillen knows that uh, this, uh, the comrades, they spend too much time in, in Robben Island and fighting for freedom. And some of them, their credentials is, is uh, I fought for freedom. And they don't have um, education as um, something they can back themselves with. Because you are being sent to negotiate with an SG, uh, no offense, who has um, a certificate in leadership. And you have a bachelor's of arts. Now, when you sit down with that already, you, you don't take that person serious. That is why Helen Zilla is bullying them left, right, and center. And she knows that Ramaphosa is someone that you can have a lot of demands and still win. Because if really Ramaphosa was that person who doesn't take nonsense, he would not agree to this uh, line of addressing by the DA. Leaking uh, personal information, very confidential information between the parties to the media to say that, guess what? Ramaphosa is not announcing his cabinet because this is what we want. Thank you.